What's up everybody, Kit and Roy here. So Huawei has a unique design challenge with its Mate series of smartphone. They always try to make it appealing to people and with the time passing, we are seeing some of the great changes to the design. Last year, Huawei released the Mate 30 Pro and in my opinion, the Mate 30 Pro was arguably one of the best looking Huawei phone. It was the first phone with a waterfall display which makes it look different from all other smartphones out there. Anyway, thankfully, it seems the upcoming Mate 40 series is going to keep that look going because on leaks reveals the first look of the Huawei's Mate 40 which shows the handset from all angles. And remember one thing, this is not the Mate 40 Pro but the regular Mate 40. So as you can see, it looks phenomenal. The first thing you will notice is the notch has been replaced by a dual punch hole selfie camera which was introduced to the P40 series this year. Also, it has a slightly curved display with around 6.4 inches diagonally. In the back there, there is you can save one of the biggest camera bump which houses a triple camera system and a sensor whose purpose is currently unknown. Anyway, I know this camera bump looks really big. But I always say the smartphone in Windows looks different than the real thing. So definitely this camera bump will look more polished and beautiful in real life. With that being said, interestingly, there are a number of unusual holes on the top frame of the phone. The exact purpose is unknown, but the most easiest explanation would be like it's coming with more sensors than usual. After that, in terms of software, we can expect a continuation of what Huawei has been doing in last years using its EMUI skin on top of a version of Android without access to any Google services, including the Google Play Store and Google Apps. This is like necessarily the case as the US government continues to keep Huawei on the entity list, banning most American companies from doing business with it. So it will definitely be hard for Huawei to sell this smartphone outside of China. But definitely, it will be more profitable in China. So yeah, that was pretty much it. The price and availability of the phone is still unknown, but I will definitely keep you updated. So make sure to hit the subscribe button to get notified. And also do let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.